guys, how's it doing? How's it going? How's it doing? Um, my name is Mo HD, and I've got a redstone torch in my hand. And yes, um, today we are talking about power sources. Uh, last episode, um, I done about basics of redstone, uh, a repeater, dust, and the redstone. Basically, this is just an add-on. It's nothing different. It's just an extension to it. So basically power sources is what powers the dust. Without a power source, the dust does nothing. It's just there for decoration. Uh, one cool thing is that you could just have a massive floor in your house and just glow it with redstone just to make it look funky. But that's for noobs. <laughs> uh, redstone is a very cool intricate thing. So without power source redstone is nothing it's just decoration it's just like just, just that just dull and dark um, but with a power source you energy and you can um, you give it energy and you can do tons of stuff with it including command blocks I'll talk about command blocks even though it's not in the book but that's like the last few episodes um, I'll probably talk about that in the creation builds um, of the community of redstone uh, so yeah let's get on with the power sources so these are the power sources in redstone. Uh, you have, oh, I forgot that one. Um, well, I'll go through them actually. You have, right, so at the top, we start in with the lever. Then you have, a lever is just an on and off, basically like a switch. Um, then you have a pressure plate, which you will step on. It will stay on for a period of time and then turn it off. I'll display these all in a minute. Uh, that's a wooden pressure plate which will be triggered by arrows or which can be triggered by arrows and items unlike the pressure plate which is stone you have this torch which I demonstrated at the last episode um, it's just a constant pulse and the intricate thing uh, you have the button which is similar to the pressure plate but you can put it on walls um, then you will have a trip wire which I'll demonstrate in a minute where you have um, it on either side of somewhere and then you put string in between it and you um, trigger it when you walk over it and it will trigger um, a pulse and then when you come off it after a period of time it will turn off um, and then you've got the wooden button which is similar to the wooden press plate it will be set off by arrows now these two I've only recently worked out about a month ago two months ago Basically, what they did, I was watching an animation, and basically, what they did. Now, I think it was just a, um, just a video where it's um, adventure video, but it wasn't like a let's play. Um, but basically, what they do is I'll demonstrate in a minute. Weighted pressure plate. Um, there's a light one and a heavy one. Basically, yeah, I'll demonstrate them in a minute. You have the daylight sensor, um, which that will be demonstrated in a future video. Um, but I'll demonstrate them now. Basically, right, to start off, uh, let's just lay them all down, lay down several redstone wires, there we go, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, right, so to start off, um, you have the basic redstone torch, which has a signal. All of these will carry a signal for 15 blocks. And then, um, one second, I'll get out some stone. Um, then you have a trip um, a lever, which is either off or on. And then when it's on, it's similar to a redstone torch. But you can, it, you can turn it on and off. It's, it's basically a switch. Uh, then you have a button, a wooden button, which when you press it, it will stay on for a period and uh, turn off. Oh. And then this is the wooden button. Like so. And if you shot an arrow at, at it with a bow, it will keep on and hold it in. Um, and that's that. Uh, there is a wooden pressure plate. When you step on it, similar to a button, it will stay on and then go off. Then you have a pressure plate which can be triggered, a uh, wooden pressure plate which can be triggered by items. Like so, and go with 15 items, um, 15 blocks. Then you have a daylight sensor, 
which is driven by daylight, so when it's night it wouldn't work, but there is a different thing will be discovered in the future episodes. Uh, there's lots of sneak peeks in this episode, or in the starting episode, but that's basically what that is. Um, let's put all them in. Um, you have the redstone block, which I showed you over there. Um, and then you have the weight of the fresh floats, and that's them all. Um, the weight of the fresh floats, basically what happens is, when you put one item on, it's a very weak signal. So if I put a few items on, oh, but you gotta, let's just drop them from up here. Um, then go to, basically it increases the signal should do. So when you step on it, it's not very much, but then when you drop, you've got to drop a certain amount of items. So if I get out 64 pieces of stone and drop them out, it's not very weighted because that is a light pressure float. Now this one is a heavy one. I can't, no, I'm not sure with the light one. It's a bit confusing, the light one. But the heavy ones, basically, you just fly up, drop all the stuff on, and then you'll see the signal where it gradually gets stronger. What it should do. Oh, I didn't know what. Sorry, but um, you can look up about the. It'll probably say something later on. I'll look at that in a minute. So that is all the power sources in Minecraft. Now, if we look through the book, uh, that rhymes. Um, I'm skip. Um, I'm not skipping them bits. Them bit, but that is the bit before the um, power sources. Or is it? No, it's not. You have the power sources. You have the piston, then you have power sources. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, where is it to? You have a trip wire, and then you have the weighted pressure plates. You can only be can only be placed on top of a block. This is the weighted pressure plate. Can only be activated by a dropped item. Produces a one second redstone signal unless constantly pressed down. Amount of items dropped onto the pressure plate increases its redstone signal strength. Place the iron with gold for a good um, gold weighted pressure plate. Um, so that's that. Um, basically, it just didn't split. I think you got to put a variety of items. I don't know. Um, but you can work that out. Basically, what happened was you'll be seeing this in one um, slip video. But basically, um, it got rid of part of it because um, I think I've got like loads of videos that I just don't use. But basically, um, what I did go through was I talked about the the trip wire where basically you have two hooks um, you put one either side like here put one on one side and then one on the other side and then you get a string and just right click on the floor to place it and they will connect and then when you go over it it will put a redstone pulse in these and trigger redstone oh and then my keyboard goes well no touching anything that's a good thing um, but there you go. Um, and then it does that. Um, and then I went on to talk about pistons. <coughs> um, this is called a sticky piston. No, this is called a regular piston. And then that one is called a sticky piston. I'll just change the colours so you know which one's which. So the regular piston is a red wall. And the sticky one is a white. So if we if we get my keyboard to work properly because I'm not really doing anything wow keyboard wow so if we oh wow it's gonna connect up to there but if, there we go. But if we push that one really keyboard really really we're gonna do this really yep it's gonna do this um oops, sorry, that's a shite keyboard And now, as you can see, but when we push, um, turn on the redstone signal to go into it, it has pushed that out. That is what a piston does. 
but what makes it different from a sticky piston is when you get rid of it, it will contract, go back in, but will not bring the block back with it. Unlike a sticky piston where it's pushed it out, like the regular one, and then it bring, brings it back in. That's what makes it different to the other one. Um, and then I went on to talk about um, two other power sources because my keyboard is utter fucking shite. Oh, wow, really? Really, keyboard? No, right, I'll just stand. Basically, those are detector rails. Uh, you find them in the um, transportation. These are the, them. I've got one down there. And I've set up a few other tracks going along. I then took a uh, redstone dust going out from it. But you can use this to open doors um, and things like that to make things cool roller coasters and cool things like that. Um, and basically, instead of walking over it and it, it does it, and when you do that, it does it, you would have to put a minecart over it. So, if I, if I get a minecart, we don't worry. And then push it along. It then um, gives it a redstone signal when it goes over it. Oh, fucking hell, this keyboard is utter shite. Fucking hell, that didn't work. Cool. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. guys. Um, now, the second thing is a trapped chest. A trapped chest, when you open it, you'll see... You'll see particles come off. Um, it's a very weak signal, but you can use it for TNT traps. So say you have a layer of TNT um, under us and get it set off and it will explode when it opens the TNT chest. Um, does it work with... when you've got... no, I tried that, didn't I? Um, but that's that. Um, I'm not even pressing shift and my keyboard's doing that. Really, keyboard? Sorry about this, guys, but my keyboard is utter shit. Why are you so fucking shit? <sighs> but basically, um, you would have. <coughs> there we go. Well, and that's gonna do that over 20,000 times. Gonna keep on doing that because I spammed that to try and get it off. And that's how shitty my keyboard is. And then it does that. Wow. Well. Right. And um, basically, um, you would put TNT underneath it. But if you wanted to make it so you can only go into it, but when you can have a switch over here and have um, it turn, um, it would have pistons underneath it. Um, which then they would come down, so it links it with that piston. They would then come down, with it would have to be a sticky piston. They would come down and then the redstone wouldn't be able to reach it for them to explode. But then you'd turn it back on. So. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Um, where I'll be looking at that. Thanks for watching. <laughs>